the giants as ancestors, mm -hmm. progenitors, the sons of the gods. Mm -hmm. This is really interesting yeah. to me because uh, in the research I've done for my recent book, uh, The Great Inception, I found that there's a particular group of people from the ancient Near East, one of the tribes, one of the people groups that the Israelites had to push out of the Holy Land, who did the same thing. In fact, scholars within the last 30 years just translated a tablet from ancient Syria that was a, an invocation of the spirits of the Rephaim and a uh, council of the Datanu, and a scholar has uh, shown that that word Datanu is actually the root word for the Greek Titans. Titans. Yes. Uh, so That's right. yeah. it's, 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 it's the same thing from the other side of the planet. The Canaanites preserved much of, I shouldn't say much, some of the knowledge from the pre-flood world. Yes. The Canaanites, of course, were later called Phoenicians yes. by the Greeks. They were the great builders. They were right. the great masons. In fact, Solomon employed uh, the Phoenicians to mm -hmm. build the mm -hmm. temple. Alexander used the Phoenicians as a right. navy for mm -hmm. hire. They were the cream of the crop masons. That's where the Mason Masonic order comes mm -hmm. from, actually, from the Phoenicians. The Egyptians hired them as well. That's right. And the Phoenicians, name. when you say Phoenician, you, you, th that word is synonymous with Canaanite. Mm -hmm. And the Canaanites uh, were some different tribes within there, but gener generally we call them Canaanites. And among them were the Nephilim and the Rephaim, mm -hmm. and the, the, the Nephilim, generally speaking, for the, for the tribes of giants, genetic giants uh, that, that had the, uh, the bloodline of the Watchers mm -hmm. and so forth. One of the great mysteries of, of North America, which is the, uh, uh, the, the mystery of what happened to the Anasazi. First of all, what did you find out about that, and how does it relate to the stories of the biblical giants? They were basically eaten by giants. So uh, that and that's the, the that's the information that uh, that's part of the reason why we were in the desert southwest is we were we were tracking uh, the the Anasazi and exploring this uh, alternative historical narrative uh, that in fact they did not migrate away they ran away mm -hmm. they fled for their lives and that the Anasazi were exterminated this was something that occurred after the flood of Noah and uh, probably as Tom says uh, around the time when Moses was writing, and there were giants in the earth in those days. The Anasazi were per perhaps being consumed, mm -hmm. eaten by giants in the desert southwest. And of the that United was States. about the same time that the Canaanite Phoenician That's the right. descendants of the Amorites were basically summoning the spirits of the Rephaim right. to bless the new king. And, and there is uh, a connection there. There is yeah. a connect that, that connection with the 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 uh, Phoenicians, with the Canaanites in the United States and in other places of the earth is so strong. We were out there kind of on the trail, too, of not only just the biblical giants, but the Native American Stargate culture, Stargate understanding, and most importantly, the giants. And the fascinating thing to us was is that as we tracked uh, the giants, their culture, their uh, civilization, their eating habits, and their eating habits, they were cannibals. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the growly, jolly green giant is not what we're talking about. We met with uh, different Native American elders, uh, and we got a picture that was unusual. Now, they told us they know where the giant bones are, and they wouldn't let us see the giant bones, yet they would talk about the giant society that the, uh, if you will, the medicine men get together, and they open up portals, okay? Now, they maintain their opening up portals in our day and age, and that literally the giants tell them what's coming on the scene. In other words, the giants that are somehow held back are giving them uh, information, and these are the people in the giant society that are absolutely as serious as you could even imagine that the giants are going to return soon. Now, that goes along within our second DVD, True Legends, the series, we're, we're the unholy sea. We actually have the pilot on record as flying a dead giant out of Bagram Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, he contacted me, uh, I forget what year it was, but fast forward to just a couple years ago, and the same pilot that flew the dead giant out of uh, Afghanistan was in a bar. I believe it was in New Mexico, at one of those beer bars. And the deal is, is that a Native American came over to him and basically uh, started to speak to him and uh, sang some sort of a, uh, I guess you'd say a tune or, or something, a, a chant or whatever it was. And Alan said that the, the Native American made the statement to him, you have seen giants, the giants are coming back. 
Alan had never seen the guy before in his life and never encountered it. It kind of blew his mind because uh, he said one of his friends went over and sat in the other part of the uh, uh, restaurant bar and this went kind of like, you know, woo-woo on him. But when, when we're talking about this, we're not only after the bones, Derek, you know. Basically, Tim and I are on not only the trail of the giants, but we're going after the live ones also. Mm -hmm. Tim's experience in South America and uh, the travels that he's done, the idea is this. The giants have been kept from contemporary history, relegated to fable and myth in order to take away from uh, not only their significance, but the reality in order to bring them back at a given point in history. <laughs>